They wanted to see the famous jockey and his bride and to wish them the best of luck. Well, you could hardly have a more wintry scene for the opening of the Winter Olympics at Squaw Valley, California. The snowstorm eased up as the ceremonies began. First, the parade of the teams. The Canadian contingent looked a pretty husky lot. The Russians had sent over a very formidable team. And Great Britain, to judge by their hats, they might all be prime ministers. After the parade, the official opening, performed by Vice President Richard Nixon. Then a great flutter of wings. Call them doves or homing pigeons, there were 2,000 of them anyway. The Olympic flag is flying. And down the ski slope, called Little Papoose, comes the Olympic flame. It's carried by a former American champion, Mrs. Lawrence. She hands the torch to Ken Henry, a famous skater. It's his task to light the bowl of fire, which must burn throughout the Winter Games. The lighting of the flame almost completes the ceremonies before the start of the program, which is packed with events over the 11 days of the Games. Seven hundred and forty athletes from thirty nations are participating. Finally, up go several thousand coloured balloons and the games are on. Canada soon won a gold medal when Robert Paul and Barbara Wagner won the pair's figure skating. With eighty and a half marks out of a possible eighty-four, a performance of perfection. And here's an impression of the women's downhill race. Competitors flashing past the camera, zipping down the difficult course of just over a mile from the top of a Squaw Valley peak. Beating Miss P2, America the favorite, victory went to Miss Beeble of Germany. Carnival time.